Behind me, guys, is the Kalasa Temple here at the impressive site of Alora Caves. There are 34 caves here, but this is the most distinguishable cave, the ginormous Kalasa Temple. And today we're going to go in and take an in-depth look at this temple and see whether it really is carved from the rock as they say it is, or is there some remnants of geopolymer. Let's get in and take a little look. You can see here almost two different types of rock, which makes it interesting. And also the statues, they actually look as though they've had a chemical substance poured on. Erosion of some sort, maybe to deface it. And there's actually some interesting block works there, is that? I can see block work. The official narrative tells us that this temple is carved into the rock. It's all one piece, and that is what makes it so impressive. But there is such a thing as geopolymer, which is casting of stones. My opinion at this moment in time, because I've been in here before, is that this isn't geopolymer. This is carving of rock, which makes it so impressive. You have another entrance over here that's blocked off, or at least cornered off so you can't get through. You can see all of this erosion here. This looks to me as though some chemical has been poured, sprayed, to really disfigure the appearance. Is that potentially to hide the block work? It could well be. It's difficult to see for sure. But it definitely has been a chemical of some sort. This is interesting here. You can see some repair of some kind on these steps. And at the steps at the side here, they've completely been eroded, either through chemical, broken away, destroyed. But you can see where they once were. And then this other material, geopolymer perhaps, has been added at a later date. And then you see parts like this. And it doesn't appear to be block work. It appears to be the same continuous rock carvings throughout. This pillar behind me is so, so impressive. This is 80 foot, an 80 foot pillar standing. Doesn't appear to be any block work, any block at all. It appears to be the same, the same join. So mightily incredible. Hello. <laughs> What do I think for India? It's amazing. Incredible country, yeah. Wonderful history. Where do you belong? England. England, England yes. Danyeva, Danyeva, Danyeva. So you can see how this pillar doesn't appear to have any block work whatsoever. It appears to be just one piece, which makes it incredible, really, to look at. 80 foot of the same structure, with all of this level of detail. We've got a lot of erosion. But still, you can see how it once would have looked when it was built. You just can't fathom how a thing would be done today. I'm not even sure they could replicate such a structure, even if they tried. So it's the temple where we've just come from, and we're back out now onto these outer pillars. I just want to give you some reference so you can see the size of it. Hello. <laughs> how you can see how much of this overhang of this stone is here, this rock. Really you have to be here to see the, the scale of things, the scope of it, but it's enormous. It's enormous and this is what baffles me as to being geopolymer. It doesn't feel like that simply because of all of this. What has gone on here?
it has been documented that there are tunnels that link all of these temples in this area. And you can see how they've been blocked off in certain areas. The builders of this temple, would they really build a passageway where you needed to crouch down like this just to get out to a vantage point? I don't think so. I can't put my finger on it, but this just doesn't feel right. The carvings are just incredible. Truly, they are. See how the concrete is just like something has been poured down the side of this temple. Just doesn't doesn't look right. Doesn't look how it should look. I'm going to get you into the shade here so you can see what I mean. You see this this overhang. And the official narrative is that this was carved into the rock, scooped. This is all the same. piece of block work that you see here. Now for that to be the case, it would have to be <laughs> some form of technique, technology that we're not aware of because you just simply cannot carve into granite rock in one piece like this, scooping it away. 400,000 tonnes of granite were scooped from this area and they don't know where it is. They don't know where it was placed, where it was put, because it's nowhere to be seen. So not only did they take the rock away, they made it disappear, which is truly incredible. I'm looking at this and I can't see any remnants of block work. I just can't see it. All I can see is cracks, which are in a natural formation, random lines, as you see right there. But no remnants of block work. Unless it has been poured in sections. That's the only thing I can think of at this moment in time. Whether it's been poured in layers. But still, to even do that, it's not like the geopolymer that we see today where you can see clearly that that's how it's been done. This one doesn't, doesn't look like that at all. Just here, you think you see remnants of block work with a line, but then it finishes. It doesn't go all the way through, which throws me off thinking that it is block work. And we've also got some really interesting pieces up here. Can you see that? This is how it perhaps looked when it was completed, the finishing touches. Just trying to stay in the shade there so you can see. And this has been chipped away. You can just see, if you look closely, how it's been broken away. Which again, if this is like an outside rendering, something covering, then you would expect the underneath to be showing you lots of evidence of block work because they wouldn't need to worry about hiding the block work because this would be covering it. But you don't find that. You only find small examples of it perhaps being the block work and the rest of it looks as though it is the same. Just one straight piece, one solid piece of rock carved. Which is just incredible. These are interesting. Like handles, perhaps. <laughs> That's where it was placed. There were a few of them. You can see another one there and another one there. But then that's it. I don't see any more. Huh? We've got some more on the lower levels, actually. Another one. Another one. And they go all the way around on the lower level. But the levels above that, I can't see any more. see that outside render in there, you get a really good example of how it's uh, a couple of centimetres thick, a couple of centimetres covering the structure. Again, if they were to cover it with render, they wouldn't be so worried about hiding the block work lines, but there just is no block work lines. I'm struggling to find them and any ones that I do see, they could easily be 
attributed to just being cracks, natural cracks. There are lots of cracks all over this site. And you can see where they've tried to repair such things. There you have one enormous one right there, uneven, unnatural. Nothing running in straight lines. Some good examples of the render, the finishing product on the outer surface. So somebody clearly has gone to detail to make this disappear. I don't see how that would just all be erosion, how the whole site has lost this outer stone. I think some chemical has been used in some capacity, which leads me to suspect again that there's been a cover up here of some sort. I'm not entirely too sure why or what for. But deliberate damage has certainly taken place here. Is that evidence of block work? But when you get high, you don't see any evidence. This really is a strange place. <laughs> Wondering how you could do such a thing without it being block work, without it being poured. You can see how this is clearly block work. This has been added at a much later date to produce some steps up. Now you would think that eventually if this was all block work, it would start to appear that way. You would start to see a lot more evidence of such a thing. But these crack lines, that is not evidence of block work to me. That is just natural cracks appearing. That is what makes this place so special really is a spectacular temple. You have these strange holes as well, so smooth. Got some bowls like there, a couple more. Have absolutely no idea what is going on there. No idea. And you see, if this was block work and cracks were to appear, they would appear where the blocks join. But that is not block work, that is just random cracks and repairs have taken place. That is what the, the filling is underneath. You can see also in the middle there how it's not a straight line, so it definitely isn't block work. This really is one of the most spectacular places that I've certainly seen and I, I would suggest that it probably is one of the most spectacular that we have because it's evidence of some sort of this being ancient technology or a technology that we're not aware of. I don't see how this can be geopolymer, that is my view. Perhaps I'm wrong, but I don't see evidence of this being casted stone. We're gonna take a walk inside the temple now. You can see the pillar behind me, 80 foot. 80 foot that pillar is, incredible. If we walk up inside this monolithic structure. Again, even on the steps, you can normally see remnants of how it is blocked, but I do not see this. I do not see, all I see is the same piece. To think there are 34 temples at this site, truly astounding. Wow. Is this a block line? But then from there, it's not a straight line. It looks as though it's just a crack that has appeared and some attempt of repair has taken place. Same with it here. So it's not straight. So I don't know, you see parts that make you think you can see block work, but then the majority of this, it doesn't look that way to me. That is what I'm seeing right now. This is what I think looking at this. Whoever destroyed this bridge that was connected to these pillars, because they took the, the support out of the way, they built these block work ones at a much later date, just to make sure that it didn't fall, even though I don't think it would have fell anyway. This is super strong, but that is what they've done and they built the steps up so that you could get up to this level. 
But this bridge, I would suspect, has been deliberately destroyed. You can see the difference between the two columns. This one all the same, this one block work. This is what I mean by the cracks. They're all uneven, unequal, running in different directions, no consistency to it. Here you've got some remnants of block work. There we do have some block work right there on those steps. But the top level, this just appears to be one. We'll have a look at the, the pillars from this side. Give you an idea of how big they are. And again, this outside rendering, this finishing touch. How amazing would this have looked when it was at its time of completion? So you can see how the erosion doesn't appear to be. Oh, we've got to take shoes off here. Shoes off, and then we'll go. more handles there. Back there where I thought it was remnants of block work, I've actually figured out what it is. So this is the original steps that you can see here. And where they put in the block work is just at a much later date, you see? So it's just down to erosion. This has eroded away. And because they need the steps there for people, they put these in at a later date. And this is what I mean. I know that geopolymer is a real thing. They do cast stones, but this site I have to say, my, my thoughts before I even come in here, because this is my second visit here now, was that this is not a geopolymer site. This is all one stone, all the same. And that is still my view at this moment in time. Everywhere that I've found evidence of block work, it can be easily explained. The other parts, I can't explain. I mean, these, these structures, the... the how it all appears to be the same thing, even the, the sides that looks as though it's been poured, deliberately covered up. Again, I don't know. I just have no answers for this thing. And that is why this leads me to say that this is one of the most impressive megalithic sites, structures, certainly that I've come across. Highly, highly recommend coming here for a visit if you do. Come to India in Aurangabad. It just goes on and on, guys. On and on. Much of the same everywhere you look. All one piece. And again, here you can see the sides of the, the cliffs there, which is said that they scoop this away. But as you've seen where the temples go in to these mountains either side, I think this has been deliberately filled. And I don't know why that is, but that is what I uh, suspect at this moment. It's very difficult to, to comprehend what this actually all is. It truly is a spectacular place. And there you can see the overhang of the mountain. This is where they've scooped it away from really doesn't make any sense at all when you think of that. Look at it. Look how far it overhangs from underneath there. How did that get there? Why is it there? Is it an attempt to cover this place up? So many questions and <laughs> very little answers. This is that same line going all the way along this side here. And as you can see, it's not straight. It is not straight at all. So I would have to say that that's a crack. That is what my eyes are telling me. But they're just crack lines, it's not evidence of block work. Be strange, like scratch marks almost, on the pillars. You see lots of that. What is going on with this carving? You can see holding something, clearly attached to this child, baby. Very, very strange. You look at this and you think, is it melted? Is it melted in some form? 
some way by some technology that we don't know about. Certainly open to that idea. Can't really process why the temple would be carved in to the rock face like that. And to have all of these passageways leading in and you can see there how much it overhangs from these underneath pillars. <laughs> really makes no sense. Just no sense whatsoever. You can see by the elephant sculptors that there's clearly been an attempt to disfigure. Another passageway leading somewhere. You can see steps down and it goes through, also goes up the way. This is into the rock, into the rock face. And looking at this, I was wondering, does it look like block work? Perhaps in certain areas, it does look like block work, but then it also looks as though it could be just natural. Natural cracks, not running straight, like we see here. This one running all the way. It's a crack that runs all the way along. It's not straight. Just, <laughs> the mind boggles with this place. It really, really does. The Kalasa Temple at Alora Caves. What is going on with this one? And the sculptor next to that one looks as though a birth of some sort, an umbilical cord, as it's wavy, leading up to the baby up there. I don't know, very difficult to know for sure because obviously the statues have been disfigured. But you can make out that is clearly what it's depicting. You wonder whether this is evidence of block work, these lines, but then why would you put the block work and then build into the block work? It just makes no sense. Unless this really is scooped out from this natural rock formation that's here and they've carved this all from the one piece. Now we're inside the temple now, and you can see these pillars, the level of detail on each one of these. This is amazing. This really is amazing. You can see one of these tunnels up here. The side isn't smooth. It's rough. And you can see where it goes. It's being blocked off, but doesn't look as though it's being blocked off. And it, it's natural, if that makes any sense. This is so strange, this place, it really is. It's like no other. Really having a hard time to figure out what is going on here. We've got an audience now, hello. <laughs> same with all of this it just makes no sense I don't know why it's like a rock why would they carve or make all of this and then make it seem as though it is a rock it's really strange to process what this place is either way it's spectacular this is something interesting because you can see here the steps this is all the same this is all the same piece, and then you get to the block work. 
which has clearly been added at a later date. Same with these pillars, same this side. These block works have been added at a later date, but this, these pillars, they're original pieces. The one behind there as well is exactly the same. All one piece. Inside there you see a lingam, a lingam which is found in many of these megalithic temples, ancient temples. Yeah. Uh -huh. Perhaps some form of technology that we're not quite aware of today. Free energy perhaps. Certainly very important to be in the centre of this temple right here. Just outside the door to where the lingam was, you have these sculptors that have been snapped away. The hand and the head, same on both sides. I wonder whether that was perhaps given away. <laughs> given away something there that couldn't be given away, so that is why they're no longer there. See more evidence of this finishing render, the finishing touch that is no longer there. We'll go up these block work steps to see where they lead, but they're clearly not part of the original structure here. This just giving you a good indication of the size of this place. It's an enormous temple, so we'll get up here and take a look. We've got another passageway there that's been... Well, has it been blocked off? <laughs> Again, it just doesn't make any sense. Normally you can tell when they deliberately block something, but this doesn't seem that way at all. Or if it is, it's done with something that is completely different. Something that they don't usually use to block these things off. A chemical process, a geopolymer form. Difficult to say for sure. You can see how these pillars at the bottom here, and then with all of this. Just very strange how this is. Here we have some remnants of an old world water system, perhaps, feeding down to the fountain. Just thinking out loud there and the geometry of this place. Certainly this temple, it's a geometric formation, which again leads me to suspect that it has something to do with energy. Free energy in some capacity. Electromagnetic energy, perhaps. So you can see the pillars that are part of the original structure, right there. And they obviously led to this point right here and that is why they built the modern day steps with the block work and we've also got an interesting piece over here which this led to it came over the way i have no idea where that goes and see it's another temple room now this is actually in the the mountain, so to speak, the cliff side right now, and there's another passageway. Uh -huh. So another passageway. Got an interesting piece there. But again, blocked off, but doesn't look as though it's been carved. Just strange. Very, very strange place this is. So we come back out. I've never seen anything like this. I don't think there is many temples of this level that are similar. Normally it's a lot easier to see whether it is geopolymer, the block work that you can see has been clearly poured, but this is not the case for the Kalasa Temple.
You can really see the difference the finishing stone would make to this temple. <laughs> the level of detail that's still there when you can see, certainly on those pillars, the level of detail compared to the pillars that don't have the finishing stone anymore. the same piece, the same structure. Wow, now we're starting to get different tunnels, different levels right here. And we're up again. It is well known that this complex of 34 temples does have underground tunnels that connect the whole site together. And I would suspect that these tunnels probably stretch on into other areas that we're not aware of. There are many, many things around this area and it is really in the middle of nowhere, so to speak. There is nothing of note. Oh, obviously saying that when there's a temple like this right here is a bit silly, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. But look at this. So we just come from there and we have another passageway. You can see, well, I can hear bats. <laughs> Scaring me off a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you can see them all up there. Again, there you go. Another level, which is hidden because we don't have any steps going up to this one. This is as far as we go. I'm scaring them all now, now they're coming down here. <laughs> but you can see by these pillars that this has definitely been carved. This has definitely been carved. This isn't like the passageways. This is actually a temple of some sort. These interesting windows. But then, there is this irrigation system. You can see in the ground, I'm just gonna lead it over to see exactly where it goes. It seems to disappear. Does that just come from dripping water perhaps? It looks a little bit too smooth to be the case. And you can see. So you can see the water leads out, comes over. That has definitely been man made. That isn't. <laughs> a natural line of things and then it filters through over there somewhere this really is one of the most impressive places that i've seen we're not even at the highest level now we're up three levels here you already saw there was another level back there and you can see over there the actual kalasa temple the main structure I'm wondering as we stand here whether this has been deliberately smashed on purpose to cover up how extensive this temple actually is, whether it's three, four, across each way, all connected by bridges. And that is why they snapped it off and built these block work steps at a later date. Because as impressive as the one temple is, which it is, could you imagine how it would look if there was three, four, five of these, all connected by these bridges? It would look like something out of a futuristic movie. Another entrance level over there. If the builders of these temples, would they really build passageways like this? It just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right with it. It feels off to me. 
and I'm not entirely too sure what it is. <laughs> Again. You know, this is what I mean by it doesn't feel right. This passageway, like this, leading out here. The builders of this temple, knowing what they know, how would they have done this? Some information there for those of you who want to read. But the key points, 7th century and over 200 years to complete. But right now we're just going to go up to the side and get a view from the top. So you can at least see and appreciate the monumental size of this temple. Well then guys, it seems like a pretty good place to wrap this video up. I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are on the Kalasa Temple here at Alora Caves. It's a place that has fascinated me, baffled me, still confuses me right now in fact, because I can't work out how it's been done, what has happened here. But either way, whatever it is, it's mightily impressive. And I highly recommend you paying a visit if you're coming to India. Make a trip to Aurangabad and come here for the day. Anyways, take care of yourselves, have a blessed and beautiful day, and always remember, life is a beautiful adventure.